Hi everybody, I'm Jim Wanzek with Remax Masters Millennium, and I'm here really excited to interview some great people from the Carr Foundation, and uh, so I want to introduce uh, Amy McDermott. She is the executive um, of that uh, program, and so I'm, I'm really excited to have Amy McDermott here. She's going to tell us all about uh, the foundation, and Deb Shipley, who's the 2021 uh, um, president so that's pretty cool and uh, a longtime friend of uh, of uh, the uh, national association of realtors the colorado association of realtors and and uh, past chair of um smedra so really uh um marianne heinrichson is pretty exciting that you're joining this because i know you've sat in in all of these chairs and so that's really cool too so amy let's start with you tell us a little bit about yourself first of all i, I know you're a littleton um native and, and a colorado native so just tell us a little bit about us and then tell us about your program i am jim thanks for having us today i am a littleton native colorado native born and raised here and happy to be working on behalf of Coloradans all across the state now with the Carr Foundation. Uh, my background is mostly in nonprofit communications, fundraising, operations, um, and so it's really exciting to be part of the Carr Foundation and be able to do that with an emphasis on what I think is the common thread in our mission, which is the idea of home, right? right. Which is what we're always all looking for, mm -hmm. that idea that we have a roof over our head, a place to call home. We raise our families there. We have conversations and times with friends and family there, and a safe place in a storm as well, right? So those are kind of the three parts of what the Carr Foundation mission is. Neat. Um, and as you know, the Carr Foundation has quite a... Uh, a storied history, having um, actually, we're celebrating our 30th birthday this wow. year, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty amazing. Um, and of course, began as Carhoff, the Colorado Association of Realtors Housing Opportunity Foundation right. 30 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, along the way, added the Education Foundation um, to support programs providing education for that pathway to home ownership. And then ultimately also brought in some disaster relief and kind of brought them all under the same umbrella of the Carr Foundation. So those are the three parts of our mission. We support organizations that are helping Coloradans attain safe and affordable housing. Right. Uh, we call it attainable housing these days, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that education piece. And then, of course, disaster relief, housing-related disaster relief. So helping Coloradans put that roof over their head during times of disaster. Well, that's really, really exciting. And, and I think I learned a little bit there. So, hey, Deb, I mean, I know that uh, through RE Colorado, we go back a long way with the communications director and things that you do there. But what brought you into uh, the, the idea of being the 2021 president and, and the passion that you bring to us? Well, it, first of all, I want to say it's just such a joy to work with Amy and a joy to work with CAR and the CAR Foundation Board. I actually have a nonprofit background, so I come from that world of nonprofit, and I have always enjoyed giving back to the community, just like all realtors do, and I think that it just is a wonderful way to tie together the work that is done at RE Colorado the, the charitable contributions and the sponsorships that I have the opportunity to engage in through RE Colorado and being part of the Carr Foundation and, and being chair is just a wonderful way to tie that all together mm -hmm. and to really give back to the realtors who give so much to the communities that they serve. You know, that's really exciting. I understand uh, nonprofit very well. So Marianne, uh, please uh, tell us a little bit about your background because we know a lot about you, but you know, you You've been dealing with Carhoff. I mean, has it been uh, a long time. long time? I know that. I don't want to date us, but uh, I know that we remember when it started. <laughs> no, you know, I stepped into this partly because Deb said, Marianne, would you be interested? Sure. Um, but, um, you know, I, I worked with the Metro Denver Realtor Foundation, and I wish I would have had somebody like Amy at the time to back me up because it would have had a whole different ending, I think, but it was the greatest learning experience in the world, and it certainly gave me insight into giving on a bigger scale and what it takes to do some of that. So getting involved in this is just kind of one of my secondary passions, you know, being willing to give. and mm, That's for sure. Out. And so I just think that it's, um, it's an opportunity. Right. 
you know, a lot of people think that the Carr Foundation, as far as realtors are concerned, that uh, the interest off of our trust accounts and things that kind of fund that, but there's a lot more to it, Amy. Could you kind of expand on, you know, really what you guys do with the money? Absolutely. You know, in the same way that as a business person or a business owner, you're always trying to consider how to diversify your revenue streams for long-term stability. So too is the Car Foundation and, and nonprofits um, in general are always looking to diversify the revenue streams that come in. That mm -hmm. helps us weather the storms, right? In the economy or when giving kind of ebbs and flows or when, like we did last year, we need there's significant need and we need to make many more grants than we might normally. The Car Foundation made over $350,000 in grants in 2020, wow. okay. which to give you an idea is about 600% more than normal. So when, when things like that happen, obviously it's important to have what we would call a cushion, right? So that we are able to expand the mission to be able to do that. So obviously our escrow interest program is one of the ways that we do that, which has created an endowment over the years. Some of the other ways that we raise those funds are, as Deb was saying, corporate partnerships with our industry partners, where we're able to offer a value proposition that includes some visibility and some partnership, mm -hmm. some potential volunteerism opportunities for realtors. Of course, we like to be able to talk to brokerages and individual realtors whenever we can, mm -hmm. because we know that you're all involved in your communities all the time. And so oftentimes the nonprofits that need our grants, we hear about from realtors who volunteer for them in the community. That's a very important partnership. And so we have a lot of realtors that are partner that partner with us in that way, but then also ha are have a generous heart, as Marianne said, and want to be donors as well. Mm -hmm. And so there are a number of of kind of avenues for how that revenue comes into the foundation. Okay. Um, and then what we can do with it is change lives. I mean, last year alone, almost five thousand lives touched and counting. Yeah. Uh, by the granting that the Car Foundation did. You even told me a little bit about uh, Grand Lake and how you reached out to homeowners that lost their homes and things like that. Even even in the other parts of the the state, you know. Absolutely, all over the state. We we take very seriously our responsibility for helping Coloradans all over the state in all of the districts, in all of the local associations, wherever there is a need. That's very important to us. And so obviously we all know there was significant need after the fires in Grand County. Right. The Car Foundation, with partnership from the NAR Realtor Relief Foundation, actually provided mortgage and rental assistance to 34 families whose homes burned down in Grand County. Wow. And so not only does it come from, you know, the Coloradan real estate mm -hmm. uh, industry, but it also comes from the national. And so that they will then kind of be, if there's a, a relief that needs to happen specifically, they'll they'll divide that up around the country? Absolutely. Their whole mission is disaster relief, housing-related disaster relief on the national level. So when we need it, they're there. Well, that's fantastic. Fantastic. So, Deb, you know, tell us uh, how much time is this taking, you know, to really deal with this? Because it sounds like a big job. And I know you got a great executive director, but my goodness, how much time are you spending? Well, we do have an executive director, a great executive director, and we have an amazing board of directors as well. They are a, really a working board who lends a lot of their time, their talents, as well as their treasures to make this uh, successful. So, um, I, I, you know, I do put a fair amount of time into uh, mm -hmm. the position, but I have to uh, say I enjoy every single moment of it. So when, uh, when I'm not working at RE Colorado or with my children, right. I uh, love to spend time uh, supporting the work that realtors do in the communities. So do you guys have an office? I mean, where are you located? We are located at the car office. Okay. So significant support uh, from the car staff, from Tyrone Adams, the CEO of CAR. Mm -hmm. um, it really is a great team there, and they are all very invested in the success of the foundation. Yep. No, I mean, I'll tell you, that that group over there is some something special. Tyrone has really stepped into his own, and, and I'm really proud of uh, have the evolution of Tyrone and his uh, position, too. So, Marianne, you know about uh, the CAR uh, offices probably as good as anybody. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that organization deals from bringing it from the national level, then to car level, and then down to, you know, like Smedra. Well, um, they made a decision to really step up the foundation. And that was how Amy transpired. That's how we came across Amy, is that we really went on a search for somebody that we felt was going to be experienced, that was strongly motivated, 
and that would promote the foundation on behalf of CAR because okay. we wanted to, CAR wanted to make a difference in the community. And the best way to do that was through the foundation. So she, she was the top, she rose at the top mm -hmm. of that search and she's proven herself to be that. So she's, she has worked hand in hand with CAR and with CAR staff. And they have been extremely supportive. So tell us about some of the fundraisers that you might need or, or how we can help. Absolutely. Thank you for asking. Right now, we have a really fantastic fundraiser uh, that is just launching. We're calling it our Invest in Colorado 2021 Grant Cycle. Um, as I said, we did significantly increase granting last year, but what we have learned is that the need in Colorado communities all over the state is still there. Every single grantee that received a grant from us last year, which is about two dozen organizations all over the state, they have every single one of them told us that the demand and the need for their services that they're providing is significantly increased, sometimes as much as 500% mm -hmm. from 2019 and has not yet started to come down, right? Over the course of 2021, uh, they've not yet started to see a decline. So they still have a significant need. And we're talking about organizations that build homes and provide long-term housing for veterans or provide emergency housing and case management for victims of domestic violence. We're talking about organizations that help in times of disaster. We're talking about organizations that help teach potential home buyers how to navigate that process and save for okay. a down payment. All of these organizations are still in need of support. So we knew that we had to do some significant fundraising over the course of 2021 so that we could go out there and make some more grants. So that's what we're doing now. Okay. We have a very generous matching gift from Colorado Realtors through the car, through car, through the association of $50,000. And so we're out there raising another $50,000 to match. Fantastic. And so this is an opportunity for brokerages, for individual realtors, for teams, for corporate partners to have a direct impact because all of these dollars raised will go directly into the communities. Well, that, I mean, that's exciting, but how would people get a hold of you? I mean, do you have websites or tell us a little bit about, so we can link that stuff together. Cause Absolutely. I think that really is kind of the network that we we're all love about. It. So you can navigate to the car website and go to the members tab and you'll see the Colorado Association of Realtors Foundation. And right on our homepage uh, on the car website, you can donate from there. Um, you'll also find my contact information. I'd love to hear from all of you. Wow. Uh, we love to talk to realtors and teams from all across the state and in particular the metro area. We're here, so come and see us. Well, that's really exciting. And thank you very much for coming and spending some time with us today because, you know, it's always in front of people that when you get them to notice, they make a difference because we've got very generous people. But sometimes we forget about what this kind of a strong organization that we do have. So really, really appreciate you guys, the time coming in and, and having an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. Well, thank you for having us. Thank you so much, Jim. You know, I would like for you to also talk about some of the uh, subcommittees that we have in the foundation that somebody else, some of the realtors in our office or outside would like to maybe. I would love to if of. we have a minute. Sure, we got time. I think one of the most interesting things about coming to the Carr Foundation and working with our board is all of the amazing talents that each board member brings to the organization. For example, mm -hmm. Marianne is one of our connectors, right? Right. She knows everybody in town. She's happy to have a conversation with everyone about the Car Foundation. And Deborah has been one of our builders in helping me put some structure in place. Together, we have put some, some actual structures in place for the organization that were really necessary to bring it long into the future. Okay. And so well, some of those structures are in developing different opportunities for whatever board members' interests might be. So we've developed a governance committee if you happen to be interested in board development and succession planning. We have a fabulous engagement committee that handles marketing and event planning and also our grantee relations. So they actually get to be part of that process of identifying and choosing our grantees and bringing that to the full board. We, of course, have a finance and ops committee. And then we're about to launch an advisory group that would be a twice yearly kind of a meeting commitment for 
community members and corporate partners, people who maybe think they might want to be on a board in the future but don't have time to commit now but have some connections to bring or some ideas. We want to create as many opportunities as we can for realtors all across the state to get involved. Wow. So we are going to put uh, their uh, websites on so that you'll be able to contact them directly and if you want to get involved. But you know, every time we're talking to people every day about real estate and their needs, and this is just one more extension that you'd have an opportunity to help people in need that we're always working towards. So thank you very much for coming today. Really enjoyed talking to you guys and we'll see you next time.